Hi, Mike Corinde here, the Indianapolis OC with Max Gonzalez, and we're gonna do a short video about rivets, bucking rivets, the different sizes, and what a proper buck rivet will look like. All right, here we're set up. This is our first rivet, the smallest. We're gonna go ahead and buck this rivet and show you what happens. Ready? Yep. Ready? Yep. Here again. Ready? Yep. Ready? Yep. This one, way inside the panel. Not good. This one, too close to the panel, as you can see. For this application, this would be the correct size rivet to use for this panel. And this one was just way too long. So this video is just made to stress the importance of using the correct size rivet and how to properly buck it. All right, one other thing I wanted to make quick mention of uh, your air hammer with the uh, rivet head bit on it. There are rivets that come in different sizes. So as you can see here, the one on the right is smaller. The one on the left is the correct size. You want to make sure that you have the right size bit in your air hammer when shooting rivets. When you're shooting rivets, make sure that your bit is centered on the rivet and you apply even pressure to the rivet gun itself, to the air hammer, when shooting the rivet. So that way you get a nice clean, let's move that down, a nice clean looking uh, rivet. Let me show you an example of one that's uh, maybe not so clean. Where you make marks in the rivet, there and there. Okay, so that is from the bit jumping around on the rivet head. So if you don't apply even steady pressure, that's what it'll look like uh, versus almost making it shiny as it's being hit. So hopefully this helped you out. In case you had any doubts or questions about what a properly bucked rivet looks like. And as always, if you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to your training team.